Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try a Trader Joe's Broccoli and Cheddar Cheese Quiche. It looks pretty good to me. Um, cook thoroughly, microwavable, keep frozen. It is 6 ounces or 170 grams. That 7 looks funny. I uh, bought this, of course, at Trader Joe's. It was $2.29, which isn't too awfully bad if you ask me. 470 calories for the whole thing. And there's the other stuff for you. So you can do this a couple ways. They've got an oven directions here. Of course, we don't do ovens, but there's the directions if you want them. Microwave. You're going to remove the frozen quiche from the plastic wrapping. Leave it on the cardboard tray. Place tray in the microwave to cook for at 100% power for three minutes. Then cook at 50% power for one minute and 15 seconds. And let the quiche set for two minutes before servings. Of course, you may have just time based on your microwave. But um, yeah, pretty straightforward. It does have a little pull tab to keep yourself from getting paper cuts, hopefully. Uh -huh. that's cool so that looks really nice so i'm gonna take this out of the plastic wrap leave it in the little tray put it in the microwave i'll probably put it on a paper plate just so it's easier for me to get in and out but anyway i'll be right back all right so here it is out of the microwave and i'm going to take it out of this tray and put it on this plate because i want to cut it to see what the what it looks like you can see it didn't run over or anything like that which is a good thing Let's see what it looks like it smells really good it smells like a uh, broccoli casserole or a pot pie or something so there's the the layer of thickness not super thick but it's just quite a bit of broccoli and and cheese and stuff in there so i will uh take this over the table probably cut it in smaller pieces just so i can eat it and i'll be back all right so i'm gonna try i kind of cut it in wedges but i cut a piece out of the middle i'm gonna try the middle part first because it seems to be the most uh tender the crust fell off so <laughs> anyway it seems to be the most tender and and uh moist for lack of a better word I like the texture of that. It's really nice. The reason I say that about the center, if you look on the outside, you can see this darker color part right here. Um, it seems to be, it's really dried out. And so I'm worried it's gonna be really dry. And uh, it probably has tons of flavor, but it's, I'm afraid it's gonna be dry. So here we go. Hmm. It's actually really good. I don't get the, what's surprising, it's got tons of broccoli in here, but I don't get a really strong broccoli flavor. I mean, honestly, if you didn't like broccoli, you probably wouldn't want to get this anyway, but um, I like broccoli, but this one doesn't have a, what I call a really like strong broccoli flavor, like a broccoli casserole or something like that. 90% of the flavor of this is the crust, which is really, really good. It's a really good, pot pie kind of crust like a pie crust um it's excellent um the cheese even is not very strong so you get 90 percent crust and then the rest of it is a little bit of cheese and a little bit of broccoli kind of even like half and half that being said i really really like it i'm gonna try some just just the broccoli and cheese part no crust. It almost tastes like, yeah, the, when you don't get the crust, you get the broccoli flavor a lot stronger. It almost tastes like it has um, a little bit of onions in it, but I don't. I don't see onions in here. It's got cheese, broccoli, eggs, um, does have some garlic, salt, and spices, which it could have onion powder, but it feels like onion pieces. Um, and then the pastry itself, butter, yeah, milk, eggs, and wheat, and broccoli, basically, is what it is. Well, the crust is really good. If you get, if you want just a pure broccoli flavor, you want to avoid the crust, but why would you do that? The crust is like the best part of any pot pie, quiche, anything. The crust is really good. This one's a really good crust. I do wish the flavor of the cheese and the broccoli was a little stronger. For that, I won't give it a five, but I am going to give it a four. It's a, it's a solid four out of five. Um, like I said, if, only if the broccoli and cheese had been a little bit stronger to overcome some of that crust flavor, I probably would have given it a five, honestly, because it is really, really good. Oven and microwave didn't seem to make a difference. Um, the oven might have crisped up on top a little bit, but I don't think so. I think it would have been basically the same. So it worked out perfect just following the times on the box. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.